Hi, welcome to Charter Conductor Mail Room. All right, here's what we are got. Um, I'm explaining the card trick and how it's best used for organizational trans uh, testing and will save days. Like, okay. All right. Well, first we were going to start out with a terminal board, which is um, these are your terminal boards, right? Okay. But look at this part right here. This part matches your capacitator, okay? And if not, I wanted to do them in rings. So here's your ring, right? And they're splices, okay? We marked the car. Here's your capacitator ring. Goes on top of goes on top of the cards. Um, we're gonna and um, let's do this kind of the fast way. All right, we have a open slot card a card slot number one card slot number two all right it's best done in a in a square area so the square or the rectangular like once you get into rectangulars you have to use this motion or like if depending on how many capacitors you put on the card you can isolate say five of these just like the ignition coil done in the card trick five of these so it will single out them when you pull out that one card right so that's your card slot open you it would be like this and then your card slot close that's another four so there's your card slot and um say you're running six wires or whatever here so we've uh took in your Capacit you could do a capacitator at the end of it. Notice it says capacitator right there. And then well, like uh, it goes through the different voltages for each one here. And this is the old way, okay? Um, if we were to do organizational method with each capacitator, we would have to run its maximum voltage and then come up with a significant digits at organizational maintenance after the build of the locomotive the same thing with the resistors um but here's what we're going to do and it shows you the different multipliers and stuff like that and uh so here's your circuit breaker okay this circuit breaker is number is uh shown with contacts and it has a clutch on it which cra cracks like see the little arm how it will unlatch when it loads when it just loads i don't draw circuit breakers i don't really have to draw circuit breakers i'd rather use their circuit breakers all right these are the terminal boards um all right if you were to put them on a rack here's uh the rack okay all right first first row circuit breaker forget that they look the same okay so your circuit breakers are in the front. They're in the front. We'll just call this the front of the thing. This is actually electrocharged electric retarder, which is for slowing down your uh, trains. But then we move into either this is a brace which holds the carburetor, carburetor, the circuit breakers together, and then we we have what's called RC circuits. And RCL circuits. All right, if we were to do that, then these could also be what's known as a laminated core. And then runs like, right? So when you multiply, there could be multipliers in this with resistor to resistor, and some of them you didn't need, okay? Um. Secondly, we'll just go, we'll just put R, L, and the last one is C. All right, so I wish I had an electrical wire diagram for you. Like, maybe I got one in my thing. Oh, look what we got. We got a wiring schematic. I'm just trying to tell you, like, say you had a certain wire schematic. Um... Maybe the in the fuses, the fuses. Where is the, the fuses? That's one part I'm using. All right, this is your fuse, just basic uh, f 
fuse. I might want to keep them glass so I could break them. But this is how your fuse indication numbers, current range, characteristics, style, voltage rating. Same thing with uh, your uh, color digit code and multiplier, first, second digit tolerance and ratings. So what we did is one of these circuits gets a voltage rating or it's multiplied in your circuit breaker. Just think sure this is a side. There's your circuit breaker. Maybe if this wasn't a brace holding together, you could also do a transformer core firewall or this could also be a front firewall rear firewall and then like kind of like in this back little section here your uh, cabinet and then uh cabinet to the uh, circuit breakers and then um just uh We'd use a regular diagram like this, unless you want to do wire run list, which I plan on making a whole bunch of small ones out of like, so I group like the wheels together, the fuel pump, the oil pump, and stuff like that together. Uh, the oil pressure pump, the oil temperature, fuel pressure cut off switch. Actually, this one's the excision circuit, and um, it's in the book. It's another excision circuit. This one would be the fuel pump circuit. Um, this one has switches, 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 doesn't really show anything like a capacitor, um, but a resistor and then a fuel pump control uh, and power, uh, PCR. Um, but at the back end of this, we will use, um, and what they are is. Here's cards, okay? Here's cards. Here's some cards. Here's some cards. Say we had four. Notice that four is square and would do a perfect circle without going to the left or the right. So we take this and we punch it in there. They're not very straight. I'm kind of doing this just to... All right, this is your four hole square. Like, all right, it was supposed to be square because of the other page, but um, then we add a conduct. We uh, they come with jacks on the capacitator, so see these little rings on here. See the rings? Yeah. Well, they make contact with this, and then you have this but pointed backwards into there with your um that's your that's your capacitator instead um of a terminal lug all right um what else uh just uh i think i may have missed this video we might do one more retake and uh that concludes second idea on this card trick hopefully this is the edm 650 645 so you'd be able to isolate your problems with a deck of cards instead of going through each and every on meter spec meter and meter you know on meter real stat you know testing and tuning voltage